Die Geschichte von Peter Hase The Tale of Peter Rabbit The Tale of Peter Rabbit The Tale of Peter Rabbit Es waren einmal vier kleine Hasen. Once upon a time there were four little rabbits. Once upon a time there were four little rabbits. Once upon a time there were four little rabbits. Sie hießen Flopsy, Mopsy, Baumwollschwänzchen und Peter. And their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. And their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. And their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. Sie lebten mit ihrer Mutter in einem sandigen Erdloch. They lived with their mother in a sandbank. They lived with their mother in a sandbank. They lived with their mother in a sandbank. Unter dem Stamm einer riesigen Tanne. Underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Also, liebe Kinder, sagte die alte Frau Hase eines Morgens. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning. Ihr duft auf die Felder gehen oder den Feldweg hinunter. You may go into the fields or down the lane. You may go into the fields or down the lane. You may go into the fields or down the lane. Aber auf in gar keinen Fall in dem Garten von Mr. McGregor. But don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. But don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. But don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Euer Vater hat dort einem Unfall gehabt und Your father had an accident there and Your father had an accident there and Your father had an accident there and wurde von Mrs. McGregor in eine Pastete gesteckt. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. Und nun ab mit euch. Now run along. Now run along. Now run along. Und macht keinen Unsinn. And don't get into mischief. And don't get into mischief. And don't get into mischief. Ich muss los. I am going out. I am going out. I am going out. Da nahm die alte Frau Hase einen Korb und ihrem Schirm. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella. Und ging durch dem Wald zum Bäcker. And went through the woods to the bakers. And went through the woods to the bakers. And went through the woods to the bakers. Sie kaufte einen Leibbrot und fünf Korinthenbrötchen. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. 
She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. Flopsy, Mopsy und Baumwollschwänzchen. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail. Waren brave Häschen. Who were good little bunnies? Who were good little bunnies? Who were good little bunnies? Und gingen den Feldweg hinunter und sammelten Baumbeeren. Went down to the lane to gather blackberries. Went down to the lane to gather blackberries. Went down to the lane to gather blackberries. Peter jedoch war frech wie immer. But Peter, who was very naughty. But Peter, who was very naughty. But Peter, who was very naughty. Und lief geradewegs zu Mr. McGregor's Garten. Ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden. Ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden. Ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden. Und zwängte sich unter dem Gartentor hindurch. And squeezed under the gate. And squeezed under the gate. And squeezed under the gate. Zuerst aß er ein bisschen Salat und ein paar grüne Bohnen. First he ate some lettuces and some French beans. First he ate some lettuces and some French beans. First he ate some lettuces and some French beans. Dann etwas Rettich. And then he ate some radishes. And then he ate some radishes. And then he ate some radishes. Und dann fühlte er sich ziemlich krank. And then he felt rather sick. And then he felt rather sick. And then he felt rather sick. Dann zog er los, um Petersilie zu suchen. Then he went to look for some parsley. Then he went to look for some parsley. Then he went to look for some parsley. Wenn aber traf er am Ende eines Gurkenbeets. But round the end of a cucumber frame. But round the end of a cucumber frame. But round the end of a cucumber frame. Wenn sollte er treffen, außer Mr. McGregor? Whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? Whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? Whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? Mr. McGregor hochte auf den Knien und pflanzte jungen Kohl. Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees, planting out young cabbages. Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees, planting out young cabbages. Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees, planting out young cabbages. Aber dann sprang er plötzlich auf, rannte hinter Peter her. But he jumped up and ran after Peter. But he jumped up and ran after Peter. But he jumped up and ran after Peter. Und schwang die Harke durch die Luft. Waving a rake and calling out. Waving a rake and calling out. Waving a rake and calling out. Haltet den Dieb 
Shria er laut. Stop thief, he shouted loudly. Stop thief, he shouted loudly. Stop thief, he shouted loudly. Peter had a furchtbare angst. Peter was most dreadfully frightened. Peter was most dreadfully frightened. Peter was most dreadfully frightened. Er rannte durch dem ganzen Garten. He rushed all over the garden. He rushed all over the garden. He rushed all over the garden. Denn er hatte den Weg zurück zum Tor vergessen. For he had forgotten the way back to the gate. For he had forgotten the way back to the gate. For he had forgotten the way back to the gate. Er hat einen seiner Schuhe zwischen den Kohlköpfen verloren. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages. Und den anderen Schuh zwischen den Kartoffeln. And the other shoe amongst the potatoes and the other shoe amongst the potatoes and the other shoe amongst the potatoes nachdem er sie verloren hatte after losing them after losing them after losing them lief er auf vier beinen und wurde schneller He ran on four legs and went faster. He ran on four legs and went faster. He ran on four legs and went faster. So dass er wohl ganz davon gekommen wäre. So that I think he might have got away altogether. So that I think he might have got away altogether. So that I think he might have got away altogether. Wenn er nicht unglücklicherweise, if he had not unfortunately, if he had not unfortunately, if he had not unfortunately, in ein Stachelbeernetz gelaufen wäre. Run into a gooseberry net. Run into a gooseberry net. Run into a gooseberry net. Und sich an der großen Knöpfen seine Jacke verfangen hätte. And got caught by the large buttons on his jacket. And got caught by the large buttons on his jacket. And got caught by the large buttons on his jacket. Es war eine blaue Jacke. Mit Messingknöpfen. It was a blue jacket with brass buttons. It was a blue jacket with brass buttons. It was a blue jacket with brass buttons. Recht neu. Quite new. Quite new. Quite new. Peter gab sich selbst auf. Peter gave himself up for lost. Peter gave himself up for lost. Peter gave himself up for lost. Und weinte bitterlich. And shed big tears. And shed big tears. And shed big tears. Aber sein Schluchzen würde von einigem freundlichen Spatzen bemerkt. But his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows. But his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows. But his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows. Der in große Aufregung zu ihm flog. 
who flew to him in great excitement. Who flew to him in great excitement. Who flew to him in great excitement. Und ihn anflehte, sich anzustrengen. And implored him to exert himself. And implored him to exert himself. And implored him to exert himself. Mr. McGregor kam mit einen Sieb. Mr. McGregor came up with a sieve. Mr. McGregor came up with a sieve. Mr. McGregor came up with a sieve. Dass er Peter über den Kopf stülpen wollte. Which he intended to pop upon the top of Peter. Which he intended to pop upon the top of Peter. Which he intended to pop upon the top of Peter. Aber Peter konnte sich gerade noch rechtzeitig befreien. But Peter wriggled out just in time. But Peter wriggled out just in time. But Peter wriggled out just in time. Und ließ seine Jacke zurück. Leaving his jacket behind him. Leaving his jacket behind him. Leaving his jacket behind him. Er rannte in den Geräteschuppen. And rushed into the tool shed. And rushed into the tool shed. And rushed into the tool shed. Und sprang in eine Dose. And jumped into a can. And jumped into a can. And jumped into a can. Es wäre ein schönes Versteck gewesen. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in. Wenn nicht so viel Wasser darin gewesen wäre. If it had not had so much water in it. If it had not had so much water in it. If it had not had so much water in it. Mr. McGregor war sich ziemlich sicher. Mr. McGregor was quite sure. Mr. McGregor was quite sure. Mr. McGregor was quite sure. Dass Peter irgendwo im Geräteschuppen war. That Peter was somewhere in the tool shed. That Peter was somewhere in the tool shed. That Peter was somewhere in the tool shed. Vielleicht versteckt unter einem Blumentopf. Perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot. Perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot. Perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot. Er fing an, sie vorsichtig umzudrehen. He began to turn them over carefully. He began to turn them over carefully. He began to turn them over carefully. Und unter jeden zu schauen. Looking under each. Looking under each. Looking under each. Plötzlich nieste Peter. Hatschi. Presently, Peter sneezed. Kurti Schuh. Presently, Peter sneezed. Kurti Schuh. Presently, Peter sneezed. Kurti Schuh. Mr. McGregor war im Handumdrehen hinter ihm her. Mr. McGregor was after him in no time. Mr. McGregor was after him in no time. Mr. McGregor was after him in no time. Er versuchte, 
Peter mit seinem Fuß zu erwischen. And tried to put his foot upon Peter. And tried to put his foot upon Peter. And tried to put his foot upon Peter. Der aber aus dem Fenster sprang. Who jumped out of a window. Who jumped out of a window. Who jumped out of a window. Und dabei drei Pflanzen umwarf. Upsetting three plants. Upsetting three plants. Upsetting three plants. Das Fenster war zu klein für Mr. McGregor. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor. Und er war es leid, Peter nachzujagen. And he was tired of running after Peter. And he was tired of running after Peter. And he was tired of running after Peter. Er ging zurück an seine Arbeit. He went back to his work. He went back to his work. He went back to his work. Peter setzte sich hin, um sich auszuholen. Peter sat down to rest. Peter sat down to rest. Peter sat down to rest. Er war außer Atem und zitterte vor Schreck. He was out of breath and trembling with fright. He was out of breath and trembling with fright. He was out of breath and trembling with fright. Und er wusste nicht im geringsten, wohin er gehen sollte. And he had not the least idea which way to go. And he had not the least idea which way to go. And he had not the least idea which way to go. Außerdem war er sehr nass vom Sitzen in dieser Dose. Also, he was very damp with sitting in that can. Also, he was very damp with sitting in that can. Also, he was very damp with sitting in that can. Nach einer Weile begann er, umher zu wandern. After a time, he began to wander about. After a time, he began to wander about. After a time, he began to wander about. Hop, hop, nicht sehr schnell. Going lippity, lippity, not very fast. Going lippity, lippity, not very fast. Going lippity, lippity, not very fast. Und schaute sich überall um. And looking all around. And looking all around. And looking all around. Er fand eine Tür in einer Wand. He found a door in a wall. He found a door in a wall. He found a door in a wall. Aber sie war verschlossen. But it was locked. But it was locked. But it was locked. Und es gab keinen Platz für ein dickes, kleines Häschen. And there was no room for a fat little rabbit. And there was no room for a fat little rabbit. And there was no room for a fat little rabbit. Um sich unter ihr hindurch zu quetschen. To squeeze underneath. To squeeze underneath. To squeeze underneath. Ein alter Maus huschte über die Steinerne Türschwelle rein und raus. 
an old mouse was running in and out over the stone doorstep. An old mouse was running in and out over the stone doorstep. An old mouse was running in and out over the stone doorstep. Und schleppte Erbsen und Bohnen zu ihrer Familie in den Wald. Carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. Carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. Carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. Peter fragte sie nach dem Weg zum Gartentor. Peter asked her the way to the gate. Peter asked her the way to the gate. Peter asked her the way to the gate. Aber sie hatte eine so große Erbse in Maul, dass sie nicht antworten könnte. But she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. But she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. But she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. Sie schüttelte nur den Kopf. She only shook her head at him. She only shook her head at him. She only shook her head at him. Und Peter fing an zu weinen. Peter began to cry. Peter began to cry. Peter began to cry. Dann versuchte er, den Weg quer durch den Garten zu finden. Then he tried to find his way straight across the garden. Then he tried to find his way straight across the garden. Then he tried to find his way straight across the garden. Aber er würde immer verwirrter. But he became more and more puzzled. But he became more and more puzzled. But he became more and more puzzled. Schließlich kam er zu einem Teich. Presently he came to a pond. Presently he came to a pond. Presently he came to a pond. In dem Mr. McGregor seine Gießkannen auffüllte. Where Mr. McGregor filled his water cans. Where Mr. McGregor filled his water cans. Where Mr. McGregor filled his water cans. Eine weiße Katze starrte auf einige Goldfische. A white cat was staring at some goldfish. A white cat was staring at some goldfish. A white cat was staring at some goldfish. Und saß wie versteinert da. And sat as still as a stone. And sat as still as a stone. And sat as still as a stone. Aber hin und wieder zuckte ihre Schwanzspitze. But now and then the tip of her tail twitched. But now and then the tip of her tail twitched. But now and then the tip of her tail twitched. Als ob sie lebendig wäre. As if it were alive. As if it were alive. As if it were alive. Peter heilt es für das Beste. Peter thought it best. Peter thought it best. Peter thought it best. Einfach weiter zu gehen. To go away. To go away. To go away. Ohne mit ihr zu sprechen. Without speaking to her. Without speaking to her. Without speaking to her. Von seinem Cousin. From his cousin, from his cousin, from his cousin, dem kleinen Benjamin Häschen, little Benjamin Bunny, little Benjamin Bunny, little Benjamin Bunny, hatte er 
von Katzen gehört. He had heard about cats. He had heard about cats. He had heard about cats. Er ging zurück in Richtung Werkzeugschuppen. He went back towards the tool shed. He went back towards the tool shed. He went back towards the tool shed. Doch plötzlich hörte er ganz in seine Nähe. But suddenly, quite close to him. But suddenly, quite close to him. But suddenly, quite close to him. Das Kratzen einer Hacke. Kritsch, kratsch, kritsch, kratsch. He heard the noise of a hoe. Scratch, 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 scratch. He heard the noise of a hoe. Scratch, 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 scratch. He heard the noise of a hoe. Scratch, 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 scratch. Peter hüschte unter das Buschwerk. Peter scuttered underneath the bushes. Peter scuttered underneath the bushes. Peter scuttered underneath the bushes. Doch als nichts geschah. But presently, as nothing happened. But presently, as nothing happened. But presently, as nothing happened. Koch er wieder hervor. He came out. He came out. He came out. Kletterte auf eine Schubkarre. And climbed upon a wheelbarrow. And climbed upon a wheelbarrow. And climbed upon a wheelbarrow. Und luckte über den Rand. And peeped over. And peeped over. And peeped over. Das Erste, was er sah, war Mr. McGregor, der die Zwiebeln hackte. The first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor hoeing onions. The first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor hoeing onions. The first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor hoeing onions. Er stand mit dem Rücken zu Peter. His back was turned towards Peter. His back was turned towards Peter. His back was turned towards Peter. Und hinter ihm lag das Tor. And beyond him was the gate. And beyond him was the gate. And beyond him was the gate. Peter schlich leiser von der Schubkarre herunter. Peter got down very quietly off the wheelbarrow. Peter got down very quietly off the wheelbarrow. Peter got down very quietly off the wheelbarrow. Und fing an zu rennen, so schnell er konnte. And started running as fast as he could go. And started running as fast as he could go. And started running as fast as he could go. Geradewegs hinter ein paar Johannesbeersträuchen entlang. Along a straight walk behind some black currant bushes. Along a straight walk behind some black currant bushes. Along a straight walk behind some black currant bushes. Mr. McGregor erblickte ihn, als er um die Ecke bog. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner. Aber Peter war das egal. But Peter did not care. 
But Peter did not care. But Peter did not care. Er schlüpfte unter dem Tor hindurch. He slipped underneath the gate. He slipped underneath the gate. He slipped underneath the gate. Und war im Wald jenseits des Gartens endlich wieder sicher. And was safe at last in the wood outside the garden. And was safe at last in the wood outside the garden. And was safe at last in the wood outside the garden. Mr. McGregor baute aus dem Jacken und dem Schuhen einen Vogelscheuche. Mr. McGregor hung up the little jacket and the shoes for a scarecrow. Mr. McGregor hung up the little jacket and the shoes for a scarecrow. Mr. McGregor hung up the little jacket and the shoes for a scarecrow. Um die Amseln zu verjagen. To frighten the blackbirds. To frighten the blackbirds. To frighten the blackbirds. Peter hörte nicht auf zu rennen, ja, schaute sich nicht einmal um. Peter never stopped running or looked behind him. Peter never stopped running or looked behind him. Peter never stopped running or looked behind him. Bis er nach Hause zur großen Tanne gelangte. Till he got home to the big fir tree till he got home to the big fir tree till he got home to the big fir tree er war so erschöpft he was so tired he was so tired he was so tired dass er sich einfach auf den schönen weichen sand that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand auf dem boden der hassenhöhle plumpsen ließ on the floor of the rabbit hole on the floor of the rabbit hole on the floor of the rabbit hole und die augen schloss and shut his eyes, and shut his eyes, and shut his eyes. Seine Mutter war in der Küche beschäftigt. His mother was busy cooking. His mother was busy cooking. His mother was busy cooking. Und wunderte sich, was er mit seinen Kleidern gemacht hatte. She wondered, what he had done with his clothes. She wondered what he had done with his clothes. She wondered what he had done with his clothes. Es waren das zweite kleine Jachen und das zweite Paar Schuhe. It was the second little jacket and pair of shoes. It was the second little jacket and pair of shoes. It was the second little jacket and pair of shoes die er in vierzehn Tagen verloren hatte. That Peter had lost in a fortnight. That Peter had lost in a fortnight. That Peter had lost in a fortnight. Leider muss ich sagen. I am sorry to say. I am sorry to say. I am sorry to say. Dass es Peter an diesem Abend nicht besonders gut ging. That Peter was not very well during the evening. That Peter was not very well during the evening. That Peter was not very well during the evening. Seine Mutter steckte ihn ins Bett. His mother put him to bed. His mother put him to bed. His mother put him to bed. Kochte ein bisschen Kamillentee. And made some chamomile tea and made some chamomile tea, and made some chamomile tea. 
und gab ihm diesen als Medizin. And she gave a dose of it to Peter. And she gave a dose of it to Peter. And she gave a dose of it to Peter. Ein Esslöffel voll zur Schlafenszeit. One tablespoonful to be taken at bedtime. One tablespoonful to be taken at bedtime. One tablespoonful to be taken at bedtime. Aber Flopsy, Mopsy und Baumwollschwänzchen hingegen. But Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail. But Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail. But Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail. Aßen Bombeeren, Brot und Milch zu Abend. Had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. Had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. Had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. Aßen Bombeeren, Brot und Milch zu Abend. Had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. Had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. Had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. The Tale of Peter Rabbit. The Tale of Peter Rabbit. The Tale of Peter Rabbit. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits. And their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. And their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. And their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sandbank. They lived with their mother in a sandbank. They lived with their mother in a sandbank. Underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning. You may go into the fields or down the lane. You may go into the fields or down the lane. You may go into the fields or down the lane. But don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. But don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. But don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Your father had an accident there and... Your father had an accident there and... Your father had an accident there and... He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. Now run along. Now run along. Now run along. And don't get into mischief. And don't get into mischief. And don't get into mischief. I am going out. I am going out. I am going out. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the woods to the baker's. And went through the woods to the baker's. And went through the woods to the baker's. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. 
She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. Who were good little bunnies? Who were good little bunnies? Who were good little bunnies? Went down to the lane to gather blackberries. Went down to the lane to gather blackberries. Went down to the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty. But Peter, who was very naughty. But Peter, who was very naughty. Ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden. Ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden. Ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden. And squeezed under the gate. And squeezed under the gate. And squeezed under the gate. First, he ate some lettuces and some French beans. First, he ate some lettuces and some French beans. First, he ate some lettuces and some French beans. And then he ate some radishes. And then he ate some radishes. And then he ate some radishes. And then he felt rather sick. And then he felt rather sick. And then he felt rather sick. Then he went to look for some parsley. Then he went to look for some parsley. Then he went to look for some parsley. But round the end of a cucumber frame. But round the end of a cucumber frame. But round the end of a cucumber frame. Whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? Whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? Whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees, planting out young cabbages. Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees, planting out young cabbages. Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees, planting out young cabbages. But he jumped up and ran after Peter. But he jumped up and ran after Peter. But he jumped up and ran after Peter waving a rake and calling out, waving a rake and calling out, waving a rake and calling out. Stop thief, he shouted loudly. Stop thief, he shouted loudly. Stop thief, he shouted loudly. Peter was most dreadfully frightened. Peter was most dreadfully frightened. Peter was most dreadfully frightened. He rushed all over the garden. He rushed all over the garden. He rushed all over the garden. For he had forgotten the way back to the gate. For he had forgotten the way back to the gate. For he had forgotten the way back to the gate. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages. And the other shoe amongst the potatoes. And the other shoe amongst the potatoes. And the other shoe amongst the potatoes. After losing them. After losing them. After losing them, he ran on four legs and went faster. He ran on four legs and went faster. He ran on four legs and went faster. So that I think he might have got away altogether. So that I think he might have got away altogether. So that I think he might have got away altogether. 
if he had not unfortunately if he had not unfortunately if he had not unfortunately run into a gooseberry net run into a gooseberry net run into a gooseberry net and got caught by the large buttons on his jacket and got caught by the large buttons on his jacket and got caught by the large buttons on his jacket it was a blue jacket with brass buttons it was a blue jacket with brass buttons it was a blue jacket with brass buttons quite new quite new quite new peter gave himself up for lost peter gave himself up for lost peter gave himself up for lost and shed big tears and shed big tears and shed big tears but his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows but his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows but his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows who flew to him in great excitement who flew to him in great excitement who flew to him in great excitement and implored him to exert himself and implored him to exert himself and implored him to exert himself mr mcgregor came up with a sieve mr mcgregor came up with a sieve mr mcgregor came up with a sieve which he intended to pop upon the top of peter which he intended to pop upon the top of peter which he intended to pop upon the top of peter but peter wriggled out just in time but peter wriggled out just in time but peter wriggled out just in time leaving his jacket behind him leaving his jacket behind him leaving his jacket behind him and rushed into the tool shed and rushed into the tool shed and rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can and jumped into a can and jumped into a can it would have been a beautiful thing to hide in it would have been a beautiful thing to hide in it would have been a beautiful thing to hide in if it had not had so much water in it if it had not had so much water in it if it had not had so much water in it mr mcgregor was quite sure mr mcgregor was quite sure mr mcgregor was quite sure that peter was somewhere in the tool shed that peter was somewhere in the tool shed that peter was somewhere in the tool shed perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot he began to turn them over carefully he began to turn them over carefully he began to turn them over carefully looking under each looking under each looking under each presently peter sneezed kerchy shoe presently peter sneezed kerchy shoe presently peter sneezed kerchy shoe mr mcgregor was after him in no time mr mcgregor was after him in no time mr mcgregor was after him in no time and tried to put his foot upon peter 
and tried to put his foot upon Peter. And tried to put his foot upon Peter, who jumped out of a window. Who jumped out of a window. Who jumped out of a window. Upsetting three plants. Upsetting three plants. Upsetting three plants. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor. And he was tired of running after Peter. And he was tired of running after Peter. And he was tired of running after Peter. He went back to his work. He went back to his work. He went back to his work. Peter sat down to rest. Peter sat down to rest. Peter sat down to rest. He was out of breath and trembling with fright. He was out of breath and trembling with fright. He was out of breath and trembling with fright. And he had not the least idea which way to go. And he had not the least idea which way to go. And he had not the least idea which way to go. Also, he was very damp with sitting in that can. Also, he was very damp with sitting in that can. Also, he was very damp with sitting in that can. After a time, he began to wander about. After a time, he began to wander about. After a time, he began to wander about. Going lippity lippity, not very fast. Going lippity lippity, not very fast. Going lippity lippity, not very fast. And looking all around. And looking all around. And looking all around. He found a door in a wall. He found a door in a wall. He found a door in a wall. But it was locked. But it was locked. But it was locked. And there was no room for a fat little rabbit and there was no room for a fat little rabbit and there was no room for a fat little rabbit to squeeze underneath to squeeze underneath to squeeze underneath an old mouse was running in and out over the stone doorstep an old mouse was running in and out over the stone doorstep an old mouse was running in and out over the stone doorstep Carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. Carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. Carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. Peter asked her the way to the gate. Peter asked her the way to the gate. Peter asked her the way to the gate. The to the gate. But she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. But she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. But she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. She only shook her head at him. She only shook her head at him. She only shook her head at him. Peter began to cry. Peter began to cry. Peter began to cry. Then he tried to find his way straight across the garden. Then he tried to find his way straight across the garden. Then he tried to find his way straight across the garden. But he became more and more puzzled. But he became more and more puzzled. But he became more and more puzzled. Presently, he came to a pond. Presently, 
he came to a pond. Presently, he came to a pond, where Mr. McGregor filled his water cans. Where Mr. McGregor filled his water cans. Where Mr. McGregor filled his water cans. A white cat was staring at some goldfish. A white cat was staring at some goldfish. A white cat was staring at some goldfish. And sat as still as a stone. And sat as still as a stone. And sat as still as a stone. But now and then the tip of her tail twitched. But now and then the tip of her tail twitched. But now and then the tip of her tail twitched as if it were alive. As if it were alive. As if it were alive. Peter thought it best. Peter thought it best. Peter thought it best to go away. To go away. To go away. Without speaking to her. Without speaking to her. Without speaking to her. From his cousin. From his cousin. From his cousin. Little Benjamin Bunny. Little Benjamin Bunny. Little Benjamin Bunny. He had heard about cats. He had heard about cats. He had heard about cats. He went back towards the tool shed. He went back towards the tool shed. He went back towards the tool shed. But suddenly, quite close to him. But suddenly, quite close to him. But suddenly, quite close to him. He heard the noise of a hoe, scritch, scratch, scratch, scritch. He heard the noise of a hoe, scritch, scratch, scratch, scritch. He heard the noise of a hoe, scritch, scratch, scratch, scritch. Peter scuttered underneath the bushes. Peter scuttered underneath the bushes. Peter scuttered underneath the bushes. But presently, as nothing happened, but presently, as nothing happened, but presently, as nothing happened, he came out. He came out. He came out. And climbed upon a wheelbarrow. And climbed upon a wheelbarrow. And climbed upon a wheelbarrow. And peeped over. And peeped over. And peeped over. The first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor hoeing onions. The first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor hoeing onions. The first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor hoeing onions. His back was turned towards Peter. His back was turned towards Peter. His back was turned towards Peter. And beyond him was the gate. And beyond him was the gate. And beyond him was the gate. Peter got down very quietly off the wheelbarrow. Peter got down very quietly off the wheelbarrow. Peter got down very quietly off the wheelbarrow and started running as fast as he could go and started running as fast as he could go and started running as fast as he could go along a straight walk behind some black currant bushes. Along a straight walk behind some black currant bushes. Along a straight walk behind some black currant bushes. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner. But Peter did not care. But Peter did not care. But Peter did not care. 
He slipped underneath the gate. He slipped underneath the gate. He slipped underneath the gate and was safe at last in the wood outside the garden. And was safe at last in the wood outside the garden. And was safe at last in the wood outside the garden. Mr. McGregor hung up the little jacket and the shoes for a scarecrow. Mr. McGregor hung up the little jacket and the shoes for a scarecrow. Mr. McGregor hung up the little jacket and the shoes for a scarecrow to frighten the blackbirds. To frighten the blackbirds. To frighten the blackbirds. Peter never stopped running or looked behind him. Peter never stopped running or looked behind him. Peter never stopped running or looked behind him. Till he got home to the big fir tree. Till he got home to the big fir tree. Till he got home to the big fir tree. He was so tired. He was so tired. He was so tired that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand, that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand, that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand on the floor of the rabbit hole, on the floor of the rabbit hole, on the floor of the rabbit hole, and shut his eyes, and shut his eyes, and shut his eyes. His mother was busy cooking. His mother was busy cooking. His mother was busy cooking. She wondered what he had done with his clothes. She wondered what he had done with his clothes. She wondered what he had done with his clothes. It was the second little jacket and pair of shoes. It was the second little jacket and pair of shoes. It was the second little jacket and pair of shoes that Peter had lost in a fortnight. That Peter had lost in a fortnight. That Peter had lost in a fortnight. I am sorry to say, I am sorry to say, I am sorry to say that Peter was not very well during the evening. That Peter was not very well during the evening. That Peter was not very well during the evening. His mother put him to bed. His mother put him to bed. His mother put him to bed. And made some chamomile tea. And made some chamomile tea. And made some chamomile tea. And she gave a dose of it to Peter. And she gave a dose of it to Peter. And she gave a dose of it to Peter. One tablespoonful to be taken at bedtime. One tablespoonful to be taken at bedtime. One tablespoonful to be taken at bedtime. But Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. But Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. But Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. Had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. Had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. The Tale of Peter Rabbit Once upon a time there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sandbank, underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning, you may go into the fields or down the lane, but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Your father had an accident there, and... He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. Now run along and don't get into mischief. I am going out. 
Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the woods to the baker's. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down to the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. First he ate some lettuces and some French beans, and then he ate some radishes, and then he felt rather sick. Then he went to look for some parsley, but round the end of a cucumber frame, whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees, planting out young cabbages. But he jumped up and ran after Peter, waving a rake and calling out. Stop, thief! he shouted loudly. Peter was most dreadfully frightened. He rushed all over the garden, for he had forgotten the way back to the gate. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages, and the other shoe amongst the potatoes. After losing them, he ran on four legs and went faster, so that I think he might have got away altogether, if he had not, unfortunately, run into a gooseberry net, and got caught by the large buttons on his jacket. It was a blue jacket with brass buttons. Quite new. Peter gave himself up for lost and shed big tears. But his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows who flew to him in great excitement and implored him to exert himself. Mr. McGregor came up with a sieve, which he intended to pop upon the top of Peter. But Peter wriggled out just in time, leaving his jacket behind him, and rushed into the tool shed, and jumped into a can. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in, if it had not had so much water in it. Mr. McGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed, perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot. He began to turn them over carefully, looking under each. Presently, Peter sneezed, Curty shoo! Mr. McGregor was after him in no time and tried to put his foot upon Peter, who jumped out of a window, upsetting three plants. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor, and he was tired of running after Peter. He went back to his work. Peter sat down to rest. He was out of breath and trembling with fright and he had not the least idea which way to go. Also, he was very damp with sitting in that can. After a time, he began to wander about, going lippity-lippity, not very fast, and looking all around. He found a door in a wall, but it was locked and there was no room for a fat little rabbit to squeeze underneath. An old mouse was running in and out over the stone doorstep, carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. Peter asked her the way to the gate, but she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. She only shook her head at him. Peter began to cry. Then 
he tried to find his way straight across the garden. But he became more and more puzzled. Presently, he came to a pond, where Mr. McGregor filled his water cans. A white cat was staring at some goldfish and sat as still as a stone. But now and then, the tip of her tail twitched as if it were alive. Peter thought it best to go away without speaking to her from his cousin, little Benjamin Bunny. He had heard about cats. He went back towards the tool shed. But suddenly, quite close to him, he heard the noise of a hoe scritch, scratch, scratch, scritch. Peter scuttered underneath the bushes. But presently, as nothing happened, he came out and climbed upon a wheelbarrow and peeped over. The first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor hoeing onions. His back was turned towards Peter. And beyond him was the gate. Peter got down very quietly off the wheelbarrow and started running as fast as he could go, along a straight walk behind some black currant bushes. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner. But Peter did not care. He slipped underneath the gate, and was safe at last in the wood outside the garden. Mr. McGregor hung up the little jacket and the shoes for a scarecrow to frighten the blackbirds. Peter never stopped running or looked behind him till he got home to the big fir tree. He was so tired that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand on the floor of the rabbit hole and shut his eyes. His mother was busy cooking. She wondered what he had done with his clothes. It was the second little jacket and pair of shoes that Peter had lost in a fortnight. I am sorry to say that Peter was not very well during the evening. His mother put him to bed and made some chamomile tea, and she gave a dose of it to Peter, one tablespoonful to be taken at bedtime. But Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail had bread and milk and blackberries for supper.